me let's go and make sakpa melon soup then i'll add my stock fish my dry fish and my meat and then good morning and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're seeing this face for the first time my name is nazo mumo and i am a nigerian based youtuber so yesterday i watched um a video by temilaya and mom um, making sakpa okra soup and it just inspired me to make my own sakpa melon soup so i'm going to show you how you can make sakpa melon soup and it's still going to come out really tasty so i'm not going to the market for this i'm going to be using leftover um foodstuffs from my freezer so come with me let's go and make sakpa melon soup how many pieces of meat were expected to be in this soup i said it is sakpa melon soup now <laughs> so this is the remaining meat i have in my freezer um and dried fish plus this is um, a blend of atarodo and a little bit of onions this is everything i have in my house remember we're not going to the market for this recipe now this melon is um i think about two and a half cups of melon i also had at home so i just go ahead now and i put my oil on fire you don't bleach the oil when it's a bit hot you just add the onions don't mind my small onions so like i said we're not going to the market for this recipe so i'm using everything i have left at home and then at this point i've already added my pepper mix and then i just it had fried for a little so i put one seasoning cube i put um crayfish i put salt and then i'll just stir everything to combine i let it fry i just want the oil to be a little bit tasty we're frying this melon by the way <laughs> So after you stirred and you're very sure that um, everything has combined, you just add your melon now. I'm really not bothered about whether the melon soup is going to come out lumpy or not. But um, so I just put the melon, everything together. If I wanted it to come out lumpy, I would have added it bit by bit. So I just put the melon and then I cover the pot. Oh, before I close the pot, I forgot to show you that I eventually rinsed uh, off um, the melon from and I put it here and then the little pepper left in the blender I mix I rinse it up and also cut it so there's a bit of water and it's going to help it fry um, without also burning yeah I'm scared I'm just going to let it fry now so i like to fry my melon till it is very dry almost like you know how scrambled eggs look like when you fry it do it the way you prefer it so like this is not still um, fried enough so i fry it some more look at it it's getting really really dry and now i like to do it this way because every time i eat melon that is not properly cooked that's a goosey soup that is not properly cooked i always have running stomach so i like to fry my goosey soup properly like i like it to dry so when it is very dry i just add water remember it is sakpa melon soup so i don't have beef stock if you have your beef stock you can put it at this point but because i did not have it and i did not go to the market everything we're cooking is from home so i just added water and then i added my dried fish i added my stock fish i added my my um my meat like i added everything you can at this point you can add your salt your you can adjust your seasoning if you have not clicked the like button please click the like button it helps my channel and it helps me know the kind of videos that you like and you want me to post thank you
so after doing that you just cover the pot and let it boil together for at least um three minutes depending on your fire so let me just you guys what happened to me so i had bitter leaf and i had okazi leaves at home in my head this one i carried was actually um bitter leaves i did not know that it was okazi leaves that's how i unintentionally put okazi leaf inside my egusi soup it's not as if it does not work it works but i really just wanted bitter leaf If you watch the coconut rice um, video that I posted, you'll notice that when I start, I always add my fish and then I reserve some fish to put when I'm almost done cooking. The first fish is for flavor and the second one is so that um, I can get chunky bites of fish when I'm eating. So I just went ahead and I added my leaf. So that's all. You just let it boil for one minute after you put the leaf and you are done. Your soup is ready. See, this sakpa soup, eh, it took me less than 35 minutes to prepare and it was so good you guys i am done it took me less than 35 minutes to make this soup so yeah you see you can make this soup without breaking the back <laughs> everything i have um, everything i used i had it at home i had melon i had just everything at home i didn't need to go and buy anything so in this time that the economy is not smiling make do with what you have and be nourished thank you for watching this video please like share comment and subscribe see you on the next one bye